Hi, are you ready for a great standing workout for arms, abs, and legs? Well, then you're in the right place. And here's what you'll need for today's workout. Use either two or three pound weights. That's what I advise my class to use. And you'll still get a really good arm workout even with weights that light. Uh, if you don't have any yet, look in the description below the video. I've put links there to all of the things that I use all the equipment, whether it's resistance bands or weights, or even my workout socks with the sticky bottoms. So you can go look for that to get those things for future videos. You'll also need a couple of washcloths. If you have a couple of old rags, just get those ready. We're going to fold them in four and we'll use those during the workout too. So a warm up, the workout, and a cool down. I hope you enjoy it and you get something out of it and uh, you feel something tomorrow. I'm sure you will. Okay, so let's start with the warm up. Put your feet together, heels together, hands on your hips, and zip up those abs. All we're gonna do is open and close, open and close, and open and close. Keep going. Now we're gonna pick up the pace. Open and open and open. Let's warm up and open up those legs, those hips, those thighs. Good. Keep going. And squeeze. And squeeze. Hold them out. Come up on your toes. Push down. Toes. Push down. So really push those heels into the floor and keep those heels glued together when you come down. Okay? With intention. Do these workouts with intention. And that way you'll definitely get a greater benefit in those muscles. All right. Let's pick up the pace. Down and down and down and down. Good. Now all we're going to do is step touch. Let's start to the left. Good. Side to side. Step touch. Now let's add in the arms. So you're just going out together. Out together. You got it. Feel that rhythm. Good. Now we're going to go out and hold. Four. Three. Two. Back to the center. And four. Three. Two. Let's go to the left. Four. Three. Two. To the center. Four. Three, two, to the right for four. Four, three, two, and one to the center. Good. And to the left. Four, three. Now we're going to do singles. Out and back. Out and back. Out and back. Good. Out and out. Now we're going to go to the center and to the right. Now we're going to touch the floor. Good. If you can't touch the floor, and you'll notice I'm not going all the way down to the floor, you can also go to your knee. So this is all based on your needs and your comfort level. Down, good, and out, and down, and out, and down. Back to the center, and just pulse it. Get that rhythm again, good. All right, pitch that body forward, hands on thighs, excellent. Just hold it and stick that booty back to the back wall. Don't tuck it in, stick it out. Let's come up into a prayer pose. Elbows high, keep pulsing. Good, pitch forward, hands on thighs. Good, and up into prayer pose. Good, now let's come down for two and up for two, two. And up. If you wanna come up on your toes when you come up into prayer pose, you can give it a try. Your balance challenge and toes. Good. Down and toes and come down and hold. Now roll around to your right. Okay. Stretch that back leg out. Toes are tucked under. Hands on your thigh and pulse. Pulse. So again, you're just opening up and warming up those legs, glutes, and hips. Just pulse. Now hold. With the same arm as the leg that's in front, take it to the sky and open up your heart. Good. And back down. Aim towards the front of the room. And up. Good. And front. And up. And front. And back down. Good. Pulse it. You got it? Good. All right. Hold. Roll it around to the front. And now all the way around to the left side. 
Push that leg back, runner's lunge, and hold. Pulse. With the same hand as the foot that's in front, take it to the ceiling. Now, if you have a chair you can hang on to, that would be fine as well. Now aim to the front. Good, push that leg back and front. Go up for two and front, got it? Two and front, good. Back to the hands on your thigh and pulse. And roll it around and hold, good. If you want, put your hands down, lift those hips to the sky and bend your knees. Hips to the sky and bend. Stretch out those hamstrings and down. Walk those feet together. Good. And bend your knees and slowly, slowly roll up. You should be nice and warm now. So grab your hand weights and let's start to work on those arms. Once again, feet are together. Toes are apart. If you'd like, you can come up on your toes or stay flat-footed. You'll get a great workout either way. All right, here we go. Arms down and take them up and down. Pull in those abs and squeeze your glutes. Good, it'll help you keep your balance if you're up on your toes. Four, three, two. Now this time, hold them up there and we're just gonna pulse to the back. Push and push. Good, and pinch between those shoulder blades. Like there's a penny back there. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Good. Here's four, three, two. We're going forward and back. Go forward and back. Good, forward. Forward and forward. Bring them back to the front and turn those palms towards each other. We're going up to the ceiling at 90 degrees, okay? Try to keep those elbows as close together as you can and pull in those abs. Good, up and up. Up, one more time, hold. Pulse it to the sky, pulse, pulse. Try to put those weights together. Bring those elbows as close as you can to each other. Good, up, up, up. Hold, bring them out. We're going to the sky and back to gold post arms. Up and down and up, good. Elbow, shoulder height, up. Good, squeeze those glutes behind you. Squeeze it, up and down and up and down. Four, three, two, and one. Take them out, and we're going in a circle. We're coming down, up, out, coming down, up, and out, hold. We're coming down, up, and out, hold. Coming down, up, and out. We're going the other way. Forward, down, and out, hold. Forward, down, and out, hold. Great challenge, forward. See why I use the lighter weights? <laughs> Last one, and out, and hold. Come on down on your heels. Roll those arms all the way down. Good. All right, let's come back out into our wide position. Palms face the ceiling. You're going to the corners of the room, and in. Corners, and in. Really push into those corners, like you're trying to punch a hole in those corners of the room and squeeze between those shoulder blades when you come back in. Now glue those upper arms to your sides. We're going down and up and down and up. Good, down all the way and down all the way. Now we're also going to pick up the pace and do it half time. So you're only gonna bring your arms to your waist. Here we go, down and down and down and down. Good, keep those arms glued to your sides. Here's four, three, Two, hold them forward. Now we're going out and in. See how important it is to glue those arms to your sides here. Pinch it in the back. Pinch that penny. Squeeze and squeeze. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Roll it down. Woo! Good. Now if you have a band, get it in lieu of the weights. If you don't have a band, just keep the weights in your hand. All right. And put your thumbs in the ends of that loop. Come back out into second position. We're taking the arms up and down, and the legs are doing it too. Keep tension on that strap. Come up and down, and up and down. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so as your legs bend, your arms go straight up. Good. And down. Tension on that strap. Good. Four. 
three, two, and one. Now come on back down and hold it. Now we're gonna take the left arm only and pull down and up and down and up, down. So if you wanna use an extra light or a light strap, you'll have a fuller range of motion. Down and down, working those shoulders. Two and one. Let's do the center again. Come down and up, pull down and up, pull down and down. To the right this time, down and up. Good, down and up, down and down. Here's four, three, two, and one. Good, good job. Drop your strap, bring one arm across the chest, take your other hand on the outside of your opposite shoulder. Just give a slight tug. Take your shoulders out of your ears. So drop those shoulders down, feel that stretch. Bring that same arm up and over your head and give it a nice stretch. Good, and look under that arm if you want to. And come on up, other side, other arm across your chest. Your opposite hand goes on the outside of your shoulder and you're just gonna give it a pull. Excellent, arm up and over, grab onto your elbow and give it a slight twist and pull as you look to the back corner of the room. Come on up, clasp your hands behind you. Put your palms together, bend your knees, and bring those arms up and stretch out those shoulders that you work so hard. Good job. All right, come on up. I want you to take the strap, and we're gonna start a little bit of the leg work in addition to the arm work. So take that strap, on the ball of your left foot. Take your right foot back, okay? Hang on to the strap. We're coming up under our chin and back down. Up and down and up, good. Excellent, this is a great pectoral work. Keep going, up and up. Good, up and hold it here. Now bring it down. And from here, I just want you to lift it in and back, and in and back. Now combine them, up and back. Good, got it? Here's four more, four and three, two and one. Good job, drop it, release it from that foot. Let's work the other foot. Make sure your equipment is out of the way. I don't want you to trip on anything. So put the strap under the ball of your right foot, okay? Now we'll do the arm first, straighten out that leg, up and down, and up. You got it, up, good, really feel it, pulling those abs at the same time. Don't let them go on vacation, <laughs> up. We're bringing the leg in, ready? Just bring it in, tap back, in, tap back. Got the rhythm, good. Now we're gonna combine them. So, pull, back, pull, straighten everything. Pull, arm straight, leg straight, pull. Good, here's four, three, two, last one, and release the strap. You can lose it. <laughs> Not literally, just set it aside. Okay, grab the uh, washcloths I told you about, and you're gonna fold them into Four. So you're going to make a little square out of each one. And we're going to clean your floors right now. So I would definitely recommend doing this on either tile floor or wood floor, laminate, thing, something like that. It won't work on carpet, okay? Probably should have warned you about that. <laughs> so let's just start with our left leg, okay? Make sure you can see me. So you're going to bend down on your right thigh because your left leg is doing the work, okay? So we're going forward and back and forward and back. Forward, so really push those toes into that washcloth so that you can keep it under your foot. Forward, now let's go out to the side. Here we go, out and in. You're almost like a speed skater here, out 
and out and really bend into that standing leg glute because that's working just as hard as your left leg and out four three two and one now we're gonna go back ready here we go back really pull it in with those toes and with that quad you need to be intentionally pushing down on that washcloth to keep it in place good out and out now let's go forward and around so we're big circle in big circle good big circle one more time reverse it go back first and around back and around back challenge and around good stand on up lose that one and with the standing leg bring that standing leg up across your left thigh and sit down into your thigh if you need to hang on to a chair or a counter at this point please feel free to so you can keep your balance but that should feel so good through the glutes and the hamstring all right stand up let's do the other side so bring your other leg up and over your thigh and just sit down good the stretching i think is the best part <laughs> of all the workouts come on up let's use the other washcloth bend down on the thigh of your left leg we're going to be working that right here we go forward and back forward and forward good hang on and really bend down and bend that standing leg forward push it forward and back forward last one now let's go to the side speed skater out and in so your body's very still and your hips are facing forward you do not have your hips turned out okay it's called keeping them square and out good out Let's take it back to the back. Here we go. Clean the back room. And back. Pull it in. Pull in those abs. Good. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's take it in a circle. Forward and around and back. Keep breathing. You got this. Switch direction. We're going back and around and forward. Good job back and around and forward one more come on up and with the standing leg take it over the opposite thigh sit back down hold good come on up other side take that leg across your thigh and sit right down into that booty you earned it okay lose the washcloths and now you're gonna use the back of your chair, okay? So, or your counter. Let's work the obliques. So come on over to the back of your chair. Your outside arm is going up over your head. Your outside leg is pointed. So all we're gonna do is bend down on that chair so you get a little bit of balance. And we're coming straight out to the side, out and up and out and up. So squeeze. So you're really crunching that oblique. Ready? Here we go. Bring it up and down and up and then stretch it out. Up and stretch and up and stretch it. Good. Up. One more. Now we're going to triple pulse it. We're going up. Two. Three. Stretch it out. Oh, and up. Two. Three. Stretch it. Up. Two. Three. Stretch it. Up. Two. Three. Stretch it. Come on out. And pulse good great job let's do the other leg and then we'll come back to the first one all right so I'm gonna move over to this bar so I don't put my back to you remember outside arm comes up you're working the outside leg so point your toe come up and down up and down up stretch it out crunch it stretch crunch stretch crunch stretch good keep going now we're gonna triple pulse it one, two, three, stretch it. Real good stretch. One, two, three, stretch it. And one, two, three, and stretch it. Last one, one, two, three, and stretch it. Good. Come on up. Back into second position. And pulse it. Great job. Bring those feet together. And just pony it out. Pony. 
Good. Out. Excellent. And back. And out. Good. And back. You got it. Now let's come back to the back of that chair. And I want you to put your heels together. Stand up on those toes. Bend down. And down a little bit more. Down a little bit more. Good. And up. Come down. And down. Pulling those abs down. Good. Stretch it out. Squeeze down. And down. And down. Come up. Now come on down into that triangle. Just gonna go out and in. Out and in. Really work those glutes. Out. 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 Now travel. Down for two. And up for two. Travel down. Travel up. Travel down. Travel up. Good. Two more sets down. And travel up. One more. Down. And travel up. Good job. Straighten. Bring those hands up. Fall forward. Ah, and just bend one knee at a time. Bend. Really stretch out those hips. You worked them hard today. Good job. Bend one knee. And then the other. Bend. Great. Hold. Put your hands on your elbows. And sway over to your left outside ankle. And hold. That should feel great on your low back and those obliques that you just contracted. Back to the center, around to the outside of the right ankle. Woo! That should feel good in that right hamstring. Back to the center and back to the right. Good. Hold. Back to the center, around to the left ankle. Hold. Good. And back around to the front. Hands on the floor. Bend those knees and roll up. Good. I want you to do a quad stretch. So come to the back of your chair, okay? And take your hand and grab onto your foot. Bring your knee towards the floor. And now your thighs are touching and you're pushing your hips towards the back of your chair or your counter. So you're getting a nice stretch through that front quad of your left leg. Switch sides. Take your right foot into your right hand and aim that knee towards the floor. Push those thighs together and push your hips towards that counter or chair. Good. Excellent. Let's do a little bit of side stretching. Legs out into a wide position and we're gonna side bend over to the left. Side bend, good. Now turn your body into a V. Now we're coming down to the floor. And down, good. Into the center, hold. Around to the right foot, up into a V. Side bend. Come up, side bend this way. Side bend, into a V, out into the corner. Your legs are straight. Now come down, good. Around to the center, over to the left foot. Hold, come up into that V, legs are straight, side bend, and up. Great job. Let's do a big circle with our arms. Inhale, exhale, circle, and down. Other way, circle, and exhale, and circle, good. Take your gaze over to the left. So everything is facing forward, except your gaze. Feel a nice stretch through your neck. Relax your shoulders. Look over to the right and hold. Relax your shoulders, pull in your abs and back. Let's take our left ear to our left shoulder. Good. Now with your left hand, pulse it. Pulse and pulse. So you're aiming for your ankle. <laughs> yes, I know, high expectations. Four, three, two, come on up. Other side, ear to shoulder. Hold and pulse, pulse. 
Try to come down to that knee. Good. Enjoy the stretch. Good. Roll it on up. Now, if you want to go to the back of your chair, let's go back into that runner's lunge. One foot comes back. Notice that my front knee is at a 90 degree angle. So hang on to your chair and walk that back toe back a little bit further. Good. If you want to right here for a deeper stretch, drop your back knee and back toes and hinge forward. Feel it? Good. Now you can push your booty back and stay high and bring your chest to your thigh. Woo, that should feel so good through the entire calf and hamstring of that front leg. All right, come on up and let's switch legs. So the other foot comes forward. Stretch out that back leg. Good, really stretch. Enjoy that stretch. Open up those hips. Now, if you want to, drop your back knee, back toes, and hinge forward for an even deeper stretch. Just do as much as you can. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. You don't want to force any stretches. Now, bring your booty back, stay high, and bring your chest to your thigh. Feel that fabulous stretch through the hamstring and your glute of that front leg. Good. All right, gently bring that leg in and pull yourself up. And now, put your feet together in a parallel. Chest is high. Pull in your abs. Squeeze your glutes, and I want you to take your chin and come down. Roll down, almost like you're feeling each vertebra pop open as you roll. That's how slowly you're going. So now your head is at your chest level. You're continuing to roll. Let your hands hang heavy. Now you're at your waist level. Roll down. Open up that back. Open up that spine. Let your hands hang free. Good. As far down as you can go. Hold. Enjoy the opening up that low back. Bend both knees. And slowly, slowly roll up. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. You did a great job. Thanks for hanging in with me today. I plan to do a whole lot more of these videos. I'll combine arms and abs and abs and glutes and legs and all kinds of stuff together. So stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't so you get notified when I'm putting out another workout. Thanks for being with me for Get Fit With Judy and don't forget to check out the description below the video for all the stuff I was telling you about that's available online and the links are there for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.